50 countries have gathered in Paris with the hope of reducing plastic waste. The United Nations Environment Programme is hosting the summit. Diplomats have begun five days of meetings on a landmark treaty. The goal is to reduce plastic pollution by 80% by 2040. French President Emmanuel Macron has warned that plastic, global plastic waste is a time bomb. Joining me now is Sunday Leonard. He's a program manager for the UN Environment Program. Great to have you on the show. Now, talk to us about why this meeting is so important and what threat do plas plastics pose to the planet? Yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me. Uh, this discussion is very important because of the significant impact that plastic have not just only on the environment, different dimension of the environment, biodiversity, climate change, uh, land degradation, and so on, but also because of the human health effect of plastic, uh, microplastic in the environment. Plastic, uh, microplastic has been found in different, uh, even water that we drink, in food that we eat. So it's very important that we address this challenge of plastic pollution. Plastic have beneficial uses, but we must use it in a circular economy such that we reduce the leakage of plastic into the environment and manage the impact that it has on human health and even the economy. This is a landmark treaty, but it hasn't been an easy one to get to. How close are countries to actually forming an agreement here? One fundamental issue being considered today is the system of voting on decisions for each nation. What are the key sticking points? Well, I think uh, some of the important issues to address is how we know how much plastic is beneficial to, uh, to, to humans. So, how do we address this in such a way that we can still uh, maximize this benefit and as well as minimize the impact on uh, on human on the environment and also we also know that plastic as an issue is interlinked with other uh, uh, human socioeconomic issues for example there are a lot of people who depend on plastics or the use of plastic for their job and so on in countries, for example, in Africa, because of the lack of um, uh, portable water, plastic is very important in providing portable waters, for example, in sachet and in bottles. So those are issues that need to be addressed. Those are issues that we need to make sure that in trying to address the impact of plastic, we do not, it, do, it does not have a negative impact. It means we have to think of this solution in a systematic way. We have to use uh, what I would call systems thinking, mm. looking at the connection between plastic and other aspects of, of human, and then creating solutions right. that maximize these challenges as well as provide the benefits. And perhaps also, you know, that one size fits all is maybe not the solution, you know, especially given that all countries are so different. I mean, how might national action plans eliminate plastic pollution for different countries, like the US and China versus Uganda and Bangladesh? You are very correct uh, in that aspect. Uh, we are all in different, for example, when you look at plastic produ production, the production of plastic happened uh, in uh, many countries, uh, China being one of the leading uh, producers of, of plastic, and but the consumption happens in uh, African countries. So it means if, Af if an African country is going to des design a solution or a national plan, it has to address, one, the importation of plastic, and then create solutions that really uh, reflect the national circumstances. And those are sticking points. So basically, you cannot just have a one-size-fits-all solution uh, on the table for everyone to, 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 to sign on to. We have to consider national circumstances, the level of development in different countries in coming up with solutions. So it's going to be a long week of meetings then. All right, we'll leave it there. Sunday Leonard, Program Manager for the UN Human Environment Programme.